Hi, and welcome to Voice with Julia and January 1st, 2021. As we embark on this new year, I invite you to join me on a very special journey through Matilde Marchese's vocal exercises. Voice with Julia, change your With each exercise, I will provide an explanation and things to watch out for as you're performing these exercises. Because as we know, what you see on the page doesn't necessarily translate into what we need to hear as we're working through this book. And with that, let's start with exercise number one. So exercise number one is your very simple one note wonders. And we're going up in chromatic intervals now, this exercise is very important to attend to in terms of the setup. Matilde Marchese writes that you should open the mouth naturally, keep it quite still, and draw in the breath slowly. So what does this mean? This means that when you open your mouth and you breathe, you shouldn't feel any retraction of the tongue, any change in the throat or the vocal tract as you're bringing the breath in because that can indicate that you're some tension and some holding in some of the muscles. So if you can kind of do this with me, let's open the mouth naturally, whatever that means, we'll talk about that in a second, and try to breathe in without literally changing any sensation in your mouth. It's kind of harder that way, right? You really have to be attentive. And if you're doing that correctly, you probably won't hear as much of a noisy inhale. So you can feel that. Okay, then she says, then attack the sounds neatly on the broad Italian vowel, ah. So let's talk about this broad Italian vowel. Broad, meaning wide. So it's not ah, as in father. It's more this ah, ah, ah. Now, how is this formed specifically? The front of the tongue is somewhat down. I'm not a big, you know, you have to keep it by your front lower teeth or anything like that, just down, okay? Wherever that kind of falls for you. The back of the tongue should be arched upwards. So if you're feeling this, ah, 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 or if you want to correct that sound, you say, ah, 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 that's still a retracted tongue position. So what you want to do is you want to find that lift in the back of the tongue, ah, 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 and you can hear that sound, but you do have to make adjustments. So again, this is gonna be individual because everybody's tongue is going to go to a different place naturally. So when the back of the tongue is lifted, the palate lifts nicely, and then you don't have to attend to it in a specific way. So then she says, by a resolute articulation or stroke of the glottis, avoiding all jerkiness as well as effort. So what that means is that we're not gonna start with a hard onset like ah, 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 or ha, ha, ha. You wanna find that very, very balanced position. Ah, ah, ah. Now this is an, an important time to talk about registration because as you'll notice, as we're doing this exercise, if you start in full chest function, ah, 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 okay, if you're a soprano or a mezzo, if you start in that, it's gonna be harder to navigate this position. Obviously, if you're a tenor, baritone, or bass and you're beginning in the bottom of your register, you will begin in chest voice. So this is not quite the same for you guys, but, as a soprano or a mezzo, you need to be cognizant that we have to go up into the head voice. So how we begin in that chest register has to be very mixed, even from the outset. So if you're starting, ah, ah, it's a little bit too much chest. So you want to feel that, ah, 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 and there's a baby hookup to the head voice register. Okay, so we're gonna start this exercise. And again, we're going up in chromatics, taking a breath on the fourth beat. So we hold the note for three beats, we take a breath on the fourth, then we come back in on beat number one. Ah, 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 ah. Now, at this point,
point I want to stop because depending on your exact voice type, you may have to play around where this happens exactly in your voice. But around this point, if you're a tenor, baritone, or bass, or a soprano, or a mezzo, depending on where you began in the scale based on your voice type, this point is where you will have to start to either cover or tilt the larynx. So if you're a soprano or mezzo, we're going into that beginning of the second passaggio. You really need to feel the influence of the head voice at this point, because if you don't turn over quite enough, you can go up into that second passaggio, okay? But there's gonna to be too much weight and then it's going to not flip over to the full head register. And so you're gonna lose that ease in the top. And if you're a tenor, baritone, or bass, if you don't cover appropriately, it'll feel again the same way. Everything gets wide and sort of pushed out. So at this point, for me, I like to really think about this beginning on A4 or B flat 4. So I can really start thinking about this tilt and the vowel color will change slightly. Again, you have to experiment because my version of uh or ah or uh is very different from maybe yours. So you have to play around with the conception of that vowel. Some people feel that they don't modify at all, but the vocal position is changing, so technically the vowel is modifying naturally. Um, you, it doesn't really matter which way you view it from, either from vocal position or from vowel, but whichever way sort of helps you get to that tilted position. So I'm gonna continue on up the scale and into the second passaggio for sopranos and mezzos. We've got this. is a lot harder than it looks because if you're going to continue on in this three three beats one beat rest you really have to be targeting where your onset is and that it's not too heavy one way or the other this is an exercise that really never gets perfect and every day you're going to find that it's a little bit different so this is a great one to sort of check in and revisit is are all of my articulators out of the way is the resonance starting in the right place? And I like to concede that when I begin the onset, that it's slightly lighter. So you get that that very like nice record record player touch where you put the pin right on the record player. Um, and beginning that from a little bit of a smaller position is always helpful without any squeezing in the throat muscles. Okay, so let's give that a try and I'll see you for day two.